And hello everyone, welcome back to a new video. Alright, so today I'm going to tell you guys about the vowel method. Now, basically, what this does, it validates things for you. So let's go... Here we have a GUI before we go to that. So here we have GUI, we can click enter date, and here we have a place where you can insert text. They're going to insert the... the Let's say they're going to insert maybe the month. So just this very basic. We're not going to put any major things in it to make sure because we're just going to test. So they're going to insert the month, but as a number. So it's 01, 02, or 1, 2, 3, you know, like that. So then we can go to enter. Variable is month, which is a string then we can have then we should actually have two types of um, integers or one type of integer and one type of real you can choose so the type that must be an integer is i code or whatever you want to call it the one that doesn't need to be can be something like i mon whoopsie all right so here we have our variables. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go s month becomes edt date dot text, and now we're going to go val. As you can see, it takes in a string, a var. This var is either a real or an integer, and then the code. So then we can go s month i mun and then i code now what will this do let's just i mun just for in case we put this at zero just for in case you know so what will this do basically what it will do is it will take is month and it will validate that it is an integer and this will just say if it is or is not. It's kind of like a boolean, but as a number. This can, but this basically um, converts this into the string into an either an integer or a real, and it will validate it. So after now you can go if I code. So if it is not zero, then it is an invalid value because minus one, if I'm correct, is false. And zero is true. So if it's not zero, that's the best way to go for in case you forget. If I code is not zero, then show message date is incorrect. And then if you want, you can go else. Just show message all right so let's explain this once more before we run it it takes in the string converts it to an integer at this moment and then make sure if it's true or false if it's true it will not be zero if it's false it will be any other number but zero that's all you have to know for now so if it is true, this will display. Oopsie. Date is incorrect if it's not true because it's not zero. If it is true, this will display. So let's run that. So if we enter insert anything here that is not a number, for example, let's first enter something that would be true, 23. Thank you. But if we go 23 g for example then date is incorrect because now that's not an integer now if you want to make this a real you can always go or month and just go real and just you don't have to do this but i feel doing this is just a safe way of doing your things So we go to our month. Now if we go like this. 
So let's quickly check it. If we go 22, it still says thank you, even though we haven't added a dot or anything. That is because it it converts 22 to a real, it's going to go 22.0, it's not going to change anything. So if we go 22.0, it's still going to say thank you. But if we go 22.g, hmm, that data is incorrect because that is a string. And that string cannot be converted into a number. So yeah, I hope you'll kind of understand this. But basically what it does is just validates that something is a number and that it can be used. Thank you all for watching. See you all in the next video.